This year, like every year, Avia News was invited to Eurocopter's Greetings to the Press, held in Paris on January the 24th, 2013. President and CEO Lutz Bertling gave an exhaustive and upbeat summary of 2012 achievements, the highlights of which are Turnover of 6.3 billion euros. Fifteen percent growth year on year from two thousand and eleven. Order intake of four hundred and sixty nine net bookings worth five point four billion euros. Forty two per cent of turnover generated by services. And a forty four per cent market share worldwide for civil and parapublic sectors. Avia News spoke to Mr. Bertling. Uh, the order book in 2009, 10, 11 and 12 is very encouraging. Um, will you be able to keep up with manufacturing and deliveries in the next three years? Actually, we, we will grow in deliveries again. So the, the lowest point of the curve was last year. Now we intend to grow significantly in deliveries again in 2013. Uh, actually, the ramp up is even so steep that it will be a certain challenge uh, with the supply chain as well. But we are very well organized for that. In particular, we are supporting those suppliers which have a bit difficulties to ramp up. We are supporting them, we are in their house. Uh, so I have no doubt that we will manage the ramp up. And there will be a very significant ramp up. In your presentation, you spoke about introducing fixed wing customers in your maintenance, repair, and services uh, operations. Uh, why is that? Actually what we do is we use the capabilities we have. Services is a gross area which we want to use uh, and we are not building up specific capabilities for fixed wing but where we are installed this MRO capabilities anyhow we look for additional business and very often the similarity between rotor wing and fixed wing activity is very high so we have a competence, we have a capability and we just extend our business by looking for fixed wing activities as well. Um, yes, up to now it's, uh, it's military only and we do not intend to enter into the business to um, do maintenance on, on commercial aircraft. That's a very much different uh, business from the one we have. Um, as I said, we want to use existing competence, existing capabilities, therefore the real extension passes towards the military aircraft. The presence of drones is uh, exponential in uh, all military operations theatres these days. What is your view on rotor blade drone solutions, both military and civil? Actually, in, in rotor blade drones, the real drones are not where we are really in the market. They are below one ton, they are pretty small. Um, we believe more that uh, optionally piloted vehicles will become more and more important. So, uh, an aircraft which, for some missions, will be operated with pilots on board, for others, for example, cargo delivery in a very hostile environment, um, might be operated without pilots on board. And therefore, uh, we believe that more and more platforms will become optionally piloted. And yes, we are very much uh, investing in that. Uh, we have flown for the first time optionally piloted vehicles 2008, if I remember well, early 2008. Um, and we are further investing in, uh, in that. I strongly believe that in the 20s, most of the aircraft, most of the rotor wing aircraft, uh, which uh, military forces will buy, will need to have this capability of being optionally piloted. And as the market follows that trend, obviously we are going this direction as well. Changes everything.